Hello creeps, today I am coming at you from new camera angle, sitting in my computer chair instead of on the bed. Thought it might look a little better, let me know what you think. Today I am going to be reviewing Terrace House, Boys and Girls in the City. I love this show, I love the premise, I love everybody on it. Of course, it's kind of an old idea to have three boys and three girls living together in the same house and see how they interact. But being that it's from Japan, you get the Japanese culture twist. So while there is drama, it's not as annoying and obnoxious as like American dramas are. Like there's no fist fights and name calling and that kind of stuff. It's more subtle and therefore you can kind of empathize with the characters a little more. So this show also has presenters Dana Trendle and Toku Yoshini and some other comedians that they cut in in between the show, maybe two or three times per episode, and they give their commentary about what they think is happening. And normally I would think that's really annoying, but they're so funny. Like, they actually make the show worth watching, and they throw a lot of cultural references and jokes in there that you would kind of have to be pretty familiar with Japanese culture to get all of them. Me, for example, I, I don't get everything that they say, but I do get some of it. But if you didn't know Japanese culture at all, it's probably going to be harder to understand that sense of humor. The house they live in in Tokyo is amazing. Like, the whole time you're just looking at the house and the furniture and the way they decorated it, and it's gorgeous, and I just want to live there. And there's really no characters that you hate. I mean, you kind of start to hate a few people, but for the most part, you're really cheering for everybody, and there's some really unique characters. Okay, who's my favorite from Boys and Girls in the City? Hansan, of course. Oh, Mr. Perfect. Have you ever met a guy like him? I don't think so. Also, the fact that they're real people, you can actually meet them in the streets or go to the shops where they work. It kind of shows where they work, and you could go meet and stalk them if you wanted to, and I know some people who have. But overall, this show was so entertaining. 10 out of 10. I'm addicted to it. I watched um, both parts back to back, and I'm watching Aloha State now. Of course, it's not over, but I'm loving that too. So if you love Japanese culture, if you like reality TV, if you like Japanese comedy, then this is a good show for you. Yeah, pop some popcorn, make a cup of tea, and put on Terrace House Boys and Girls in the City. You'll love it. So that's my review of Terrace House Boys and Girls in the City. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought about it down here. Let me know if you're watching Aloha State. I'll see you guys next time.